as you know, I spent approximately 24 months in prison and another six or so months on home confinement slash probation. Um, and I have two more years of probation left. Um, the case is very difficult. Um, I've been with Sandra for 30 years. On June 1st, we would have celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. And I met many men and women along the way who, whose relationships did not survive the nature of the ordeal of the incarceration experience. Every month for 24 months, Sandra brought my children to visit me. For the bulk of her incarceration, I too brought our children to visit her. The devastation on family is, is what it is. Not every family can survive. What I can say about the process is obviously I respect Judge Bellows and the decisions that she has made for the process to do what is in the best interest, as I perceive it, to be in our children. My daughter is 17, my son is 13. We were overwhelmed by, by the process this far. It was always my hope that the jurisdiction issue could be resolved in the favor of, of Illinois because the cause and the reason for the dissolution of our marriage is right here in Illinois. The issues are very specific, Sandra and I know. But I'm also very sensitive to the fact, and I say this counsel notwithstanding, that I'm very protective of my children. That which I know, and that which I discovered, and do not want to make available to the public, um, I have pursued in this process. I don't want to see some of it in a grocery stand line in a tabloid. In the Washington case, I'm obviously more familiar with the defendant. My wife is asking for everything. <laughs> in the Chicago case, and in the Chicago media, I don't even deserve what I got. Look at the two cases. My wife, in that case, is asking for everything. Jesse, give me your whole disability check. In the Chicago media, you don't even deserve a disability check. So from a wife who doesn't want me, who wants all the check, to a media in Chicago that says you don't even, you're not even entitled to it. Again, attacked from all angles, and I'm the petitioner. It's my case, it's what I found, and the bottom line, it's what I don't want to impact a 17-year-old and a 13-year-old kid who deserve their chance. Their father is speaking for them. And that's what this case is about. There are no politics here. There are no vindictiveness here. They have nothing to do with my criminal prosecution for which I accepted full responsibility. There's none of that here. This is just, there's some information that Mr. Hammer and others in this part of the jurisdictional process made very specific that we are requesting because I don't want my children to ever walk through a grocery store line and see what I found and what we know exists. And I'm not gonna lay it on the ground in that chamber. I just, through subpoena, want to recover it all. Mr. Jackson, as you said. Divorce, if you've ever, anybody here been through divorce before? Or am I the only one? Just you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer, right? <laughs> um, you know, it's gotta be even more depressing episode than the pre-incarceration experience because it's so personal. But on your way to prison too, I mean, that's a depressing episode too, and you know you're going. And you don't know if you're going for 30 months or you're going for 17 to 20 years. And that was so overwhelming to me because I thought when I was here um, that I was doing a pretty good job. I, my issues were personal. I made some mistakes over a 10-year period. They were expensive. And I paid it all back. I'm near bankruptcy right now. I owe the government nothing. I paid it back, and I also paid with my time and flesh and blood in an institution. Now I'm paying with my marriage because it did not survive this process. It just did not. And I just, I just don't know. Sometimes it feels like, Dorothy, that it doesn't end. You know? um, but we're going to close this chapter. And I have never missed a payment to my children, not in 17 years. I've never missed their education tuition payment. 
I can't afford on this disability check to live here and live in Washington and maintain a condo all at the same time. That's the way we used to live. We can't live that way anymore. And I don't want to see any more articles that somehow I'm deadbeat or that I'm incapable of taking care of my children or that I have some kind of illness that doesn't allow me to do so. I spent the last year with my kids and learned a lot about them. I learned a lot about myself. And um, I'm just grateful that you guys would give me quite possibly my final, my final hearing in public. Thank you all very much. Okay.